For calculating shadows, a shadow object must be created. Such an object consists of surfaces which can project shadows on the terrain and possibly on solar arrays. We recommend to use the shadow objects we deliver in library as far as possible. These are already tested and can represent many more detailed objects in an abstract way, but with a sufficient accuracy. We'll go into detail about using your own objects later. You can insert a shadow object by using the Civil Context menu, the Context menu of the Structure List in Helios palette, or the Add Area Definition menu in the Placement tab. We now insert a house with saddle roof. We name it House and enter its values for width 7 meters length 15 meters and height 10 meters. Now we can enter the location of the house by pointing into the drawing and afterwards we can rotate the house into position. When you place our object on a DTM it will automatically be lifted slightly above the terrain. A penetration of the terrain might cause errors during shadow calculation at this moment of development. If you want to register one of your own objects, you have to lift this manually. In this case, please follow the following rules. For first, you should keep a shadow object as simple and abstract as possible. Additional faces mean even more additional calculations without enhancing the quality of the results. For second, only objects of the AutoCAD type Mesh and Polyface Mesh can be used. In contrary to our objects, these have to be lifted above the DTM surface by hand. Now we create a pyramid of the AutoCAD type Mesh. We insert it between our two fields. Now we switch to the front view and lift our pyramid above the DTM. Of course you should do that more accurate in your real plannings. Now with our pyramid selected we go to the placement tab and say add area definition register shadow object. We name it Pyramid. Now both shadow objects are ready for use. Now we select our house and all functions for shadow calculation are displayed in the properties below. Now we enter the 21st June as our date for calculation. We enable summertime and as you can see the times for sunrise and sunset are displayed in these fields. These values are calculated by the date and the geo position set for this project. There are two options for shadow calculation now. Single step allows to calculate the shadow for one single moment between sunrise and sunset. Here we want to run a calculation for a full day. So we now enter a step width between 15 and 60 minutes. We keep this value at 60 minutes. The offset for sunrise and sunset is an important value for skipping calculations for moments when sun angle is very narrow. These would result in extremely long shadows at a time with low efficiency for solar arrays. Here we enter 90 minutes. The number of calculation steps for each selected shadow object is always displayed in this field. This value means that in this situation 14 calculations will be done for each single shadow object selected. In this place you can set which shadows should be displayed after calculation. In this situation the layers of all cumulative shadows will be thawed and the single shadow layers will be frozen. Now we start a calculation. The yellow line means the result line of the cumulative shadow. All shadow calculations 
of a selected shadow object are displayed in the shadow calculations list at the bottom of the Helios palette. Here we can freeze or thaw the layers of the result lines by pushing these buttons. Now you can see the single shadow lines. If you want to delete these lines, you can push the delete button on the right of the corresponding group of lines. If you want to delete or thaw or freeze all shadow lines of an object, you can do this in structure list. The functions for deleting all shadow lines for an object are located in the context menu of structure list. You can use all these functions for evaluation of suitable spaces for placement.